We learn more about the damage that was left across South Georgia. A lot of people still waiting for their power to be turned back on. WALB News sends Heidi Paxson is in the studio now with a look at how many South Georgians are now in the dark. Yeah, Jim and Carla, I've been working to get that big number and across the state, officials with Georgia Power tell me more than 100,000 people are left without power. In Florida, that number is more than 270,000. Georgia Power has a very helpful outage map on their website. You can see it right here. When you click on the Valdosta area, though, it says nearly 40,000 customers are left in the dark just in that area. And closer to Tifton, workers are working hard as the 13,000 people who didn't have power just about an hour ago, that number is now down to about 4,000, so much, much better. And outside of those areas, the impact of Idalia is seen throughout, just spread all the way from Pelham to the Georgia coast. Kelly Richardson with Georgia Power says in terms of the state as a whole, we still don't have the full picture of how many are affected still an evolving situation. The storm is still moving through Georgia as we speak. So it's very likely that those numbers could continue to increase as we head throughout the rest of today. But we have crews that are ready to go on standby and are prepared to respond and begin restoration efforts as soon as it is safe to do so. Georgia Power employees are asking for patience as they work to restore power across the state, but say they did feel prepared and ready for this storm. That outage map that was shown, it can be found on georgiapower.com. One of the best features is an estimated restoration time for those waiting.